I love doing things that people can use to eat from and to just to use in their everyday life and that, you know, are nice to use and people enjoy using them. I love that part of it. The inspiration for my work can come from anything I see around. For instance, the inspiration for the tableware comes from the lake and from Fermanagh. The colours come from the sunsets and from the land around as well. I have lines in the pot which are reminiscent of reflections of maybe posts in the water that are the markers for the, for the boats. Each piece is individual and when they're extruded they're not really extruded to the length I want for the, the different pots. I just extrude them a bit longer so that I can uh, take off any sort of untidy pieces on the top of the bottom. I have the base on now and I'm ready to attach the legs to go on like this here. I love working on my own. I could work here for hours on my own, but um, I work in the in the Borough Market Art and Design Centre and there are other people about if I want to go and talk to them, but a lot of the time I, I really enjoy working on my own because it means I can just really get into what I'm doing and um, really concentrate on that, which is very important. I'm stressed and I, I get on the wheel and start throwing. It just calms me down. That's the top on now and it's ready for the kiln. It starts first as an idea, a pure idea, no different from working on a canvas with paint or working in metal or anything else. And ideas come at very strange times. They can come by seeing something in a museum, they can come by seeing a shadow outside, they can come by being in a church or something and feeling a sense of spirituality, it can come by listening to beautiful music you feel that excitement inside and it's the most magical feeling and at that point you've got something that's very very precious I mean the beauty of clay is you know you can this is more like a piece of material now you know it's not like clay If you talk about factory ceramics, they want every piece to be of a certain quality. Whereas I quite like the things that are not, you know, that, that don't turn out right. That, but maybe they give you something else that you wouldn't normally get. You have to be quite comfortable working on your own. Um, and I can't say that it's all good. I'm quite happy, you know, when I have a free day and you can just spend it in the workshop and let things run, you know, let your imagination go. But um, it does get to the point where you tend to talk to the wall. <laughs> it doesn't always answer back. <laughs> Raku is the type of firing. The pot is fired in a gas kiln. The kiln that I use for large pots is called a top hat kiln and it's made from a 40 gallon oil drum. Firing is heating the pot to a temperature that melts the glaze. The glaze, whenever it's applied to the pot, is just like powder. And whenever it's heated in the kiln, the glaze melts and forms like a glass-like surface on the pot.
Clay's nice to draw on, but it's very difficult to get tight curves with. But one of the beauties with the clay in this state is that you can take lines out quite easily by rubbing them away. I am absolutely convinced inside that I am a craftsman, I am a potter, but I am an artist, I'm a sculptor. Because it starts from a feeling. You see something, you get a, a feeling about something and you get very strongly moved about it. It's not you want to make it, you need to make it. You've got something that you're actually, you have to do. I don't really do anything that's useful. I'm not in kind of batch production. I'm not enabling people to, to live. I'm making things that give me pleasure and are beautiful, hopefully, occasionally.